Welcome, everybody. What a truly, truly special day it is. Not just for our football program, our athletic department, but it's for our university and our state. Of course, by now, we know that we're here to welcome Danny Gonzalez as our new football coach. But more than that, we're here to welcome Sarah, Cole, Chloe, Abby, Jake, uh, to the UNM family. So welcome. Round of applause, please. I want to take a moment to thank a couple of individuals um, that have been really instrumental through this process. First and foremost, President Garnet Stokes. Unfortunately, she has been called to uh, another situation, so unfortunately she couldn't be here. But I can tell you right now, firsthand, how excited she is to have Danny as our head football coach. She had an opportunity to meet with Danny, myself, um, on Sunday? Sorry, I don't even know anymore. Monday. Monday. Thank you. Uh, and she, she, from the minute, from the minute she met him, she knew that this was someone who could lead our program and lead it in the right direction. So I thank her for her support through this process. It was unbelievable. I also want to thank our Board of Regents, our local club board, my staff, in particular Dave Williams. He, had, uh, he, he spent a lot of time helping me through this process, so thank you for that. And of course, all the university administration that has helped put this together. And lastly, I do want to thank Coach Davey and the, and the current staff that was in place that has helped us through the transition of this, so thank you to them. Now, let me speak a little bit about the process, because everybody wants to know a little bit quickly about how this process got to where we are today. The process, as everyone knows, began two weeks ago with an emphasis to find the right coach. Not just the coach, but the right coach. Throughout the process, I heard around the country that how so many people were expressed interest in this job. And that's great. But through it, I had my guiding principles. My guiding principles that were going to be leadership, someone who provided leadership, high character, that kept focus, had strong academic and NCAA compliance and understanding, had a commitment to excellence. I wanted a winner. I wanted somebody who had, had not just competed at a high level, but also was able to be a part of winning programs. And then ultimately, somebody who understood the community and could be invested in the community. So as we went through, we narrowed our list. I wanted to make sure I was honest and fair with everyone. Um, true fact, Danny and I never met each other until the first time we sat across each other in that first meeting. And I did it purposely because I wanted to be fair. I had heard wonderful things about him, but the reality is I wanted to be fair to him in this process, and I wanted to make sure he checked those boxes. But as we began those conversations, the more and more we went through it, I kept going back to Danny in my head, in my mind, in my gut. And ultimately, as I looked at every box that we had talked about from the beginning, he, he crossed off and checked every one of those. It was an honor for me to be able to meet him, and know that I was going to be standing right by him, side by side, as we get this program where we want it to be. So it is my privilege and honor to introduce our 32nd leader of our Lobo program and his Lobo football program, Coach Danny Gonzalez. photo before I have Denny start his uh, this week. Come on. Come on up. Let's take a picture. Come on out. Uh, first, 
I would like to first, my faith and, and my belief in, in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given me opportunities through my life. Uh, that's first and foremost to me. My family, uh, my wife Sandra and, and my four kids, uh, they're, they're my number one. Uh, we recently lost my mother about six weeks ago on the 13th of November. Uh, she, my dad's here. Uh, my dad taught me how to be a Lobo from the time I was five years old. Now I'll tell you a little story. I was probably one of the 500,000 people from Albuquerque that was at the 1980 BYU-New Mexico game. Okay, because there was about 500,000 people there if you hear the stories. Uh, that was the first football game my father ever took me to. And uh, I saw Jim McMahon about six weeks ago at an event in uh, Tempe. That's where he lives. And uh, I walked up to him and said, I'm going to make you feel old. Uh, I was at that game, and he knew the score, 25-21. He remembered the details, so that's a li uh, lasting memory in the, in the Lobo world. Um, first, let me start by thanking uh, President Stokes, Eddie Nunez, David Williams, uh, the DHR National Search Firm, and Glenn Sugiyama, uh, the people that afforded me the opportunity to be up here, the, the beliefs that they have in me to lead this program. Uh, I'm honored, I'm privileged to be our coach. It is our football team. When I came here in 1994 as a player, I walked onto this, to this team uh, determined to, to be a part of the team. Uh, the teammates that I had through my time here, uh, that time started with uh, Coach Dennis Francioni who reached out to me yesterday. I'm very honored to that. Uh, he helped start to build this program and I remember the words of his press conference when he came here that this was going to be a marathon, not a sprint. And I agree, it is. We are going to build a program. In 1997, we competed for the conference championship. We lost to Colorado State that day. Went to the Inside.com Bowl uh, as a player. Came back and then Coach Long. Coach Long, I will forever be grateful for. He gave me an opportunity that he taught me how to be a football coach. Uh, I, was, I have been very blessed in my time as a football coach and who I was surrounded by. Coach Long. Coach Gary Patterson is a position coach and coordinator. Coach Bronco Mendenhall, the head coach of Virginia. Uh, those, those people have been very influential in my life and being a Lobo. Coach Long taught me what it honestly meant to be a Lobo. Uh, when I talked to him um, yesterday after uh, I had received the news that I was going to be our next football coach, he was very uh, excited. The, the words in his voice, um, he said, it's your time, don't screw it up, it's our team. <laughs> I promise him, I made him a promise. And I will, uh, I, will, I will take that one to my grave. You're gonna have to run me out of here because uh, we're gonna do this right. Uh, I, am, I am here to represent the state of New Mexico. I love this place. I am here to represent the University of New Mexico not only the athletic department, but anything we can do to make the university a better place. Uh, my, my first and foremost and my biggest job is going to be to recruit the current players on this team. Uh, I want them to be Lobos. I want them to stay Lobos. This whole transfer portal has changed NCAA football. And I'm okay with that because I'm going to meet with all of them. Uh, I want them to know, the ones that I haven't talked to yet, that I'm one of them. And I want them to be here. And we're going to build this program with them. Uh, they are going to have the, the honor and the privilege to protect the past, the present, and the future of Lobo football. Uh, I believe uh, the, the salaries in college football have gone crazy. Okay? What's important to me is the resources that are going to be put into this football program. What I make does not matter to me. It's the resources in this program. And if you have that, you have a chance to be successful. And we're going to build this thing, like I said, we're going to build a program that competes for championships. Uh, we're going to build a community within our athletes that are going to be around. They're going to, I want the, the entire athletic department, all of our student athletes, not just football. I want all of our student athletes to know that I represent them in any way I can, any way I can help them. Our job is to mentor, lead, and help them. This is a very vulnerable time in their life. And that is first and foremost our job to lead them as young men into society. Uh, you're going to see them around. Uh, they're going to know, you're going to know who our local football players are in this town and in this state. Um, I'm honored and 
and privileged to be your football coach. Uh, I have an open door anytime, and I get it. All the emails you want to send me, how, how good we are, how bad we are, bring them. You'll get a response. Uh, I, I invite, I mean, the, the media has been great to me. I mean, most of you are my friends. I know a lot of you from when I was here before, very dear to my heart. Henry T, I can still, I've got, I've got memories of him calling basketball games when I played. I, I walked through the, the ramp, I mean, the stairs last night, the pit, and the Valley alumni, you guys were, were strong last night. I appreciate that. Uh, University of New Mexico alumni, they were strong last night. And today, you know why today's a great day? Not because I was named the football coach. Season ticket sales go on sale today. Go buy them. Let, let's, let's walk across that street and let's fill this place up. I promise you this. We're going to build this program, and I'm a New Mexico kid. We're going to recruit New Mexico kids. When I was here before, our best players were the kids from New Mexico. It meant something to them. We're going to recruit the best New Mexico kids. We're going to recruit the best football players that want to be Lobos. If they want to be a Lobo and they can play, they're going to be here. And they're going to graduate. Uh, you have an opportunity as a Division One athlete. A lot of people don't know this, and I think this is the greatest stat in recruiting. You have a chance to be one of the seven percent of Americans that graduate college and don't know anybody debt, don't owe anybody money. They have no idea how important that is until they don't. And it's our job to make sure they graduate and have that opportunity. And they're going to be mentored in every aspect of their life in our program. And I'm, I'm excited to to guide that and lead that. Uh, I know. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of great people to lean on, uh, including Coach Long, Eddie, uh, David, everybody that has given me this opportunity and afforded it. Um, I know my dad sitting over here is very proud. Like I said, being a Lobo from the time I was, I was born into it, uh, I bleed cherry silver. I do. And uh, I love this place. I said it last night. I love this place and I love you guys. And the passion that I will put into this there, there isn't anybody else that will work as hard as I will to build a winner. We're going to win. And uh, like I said, we finished second four times. We're going to get it done. Thank you.